Welcome to Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Valsang. In this video, I will be finding solutions to problems based on the defectives chart or the D chart. Problem 1. From the manufacturing process, the mean fraction defective are known to be 0.12. For a sample size of 40, write down the suitable control limits. So starting with the solution, read the sentence carefully. They have considered the entire manufacturing process and the mean fraction defective is given to us. So this is a case when the process standard is known, that is capital P is known to us. So let's write given P dash is 0.12, Q dash is 1 minus P dash which is 1 minus 0 0.12 which is 0 0.88 and n is equal to 40. So the suitable chart is the defectives chart or the D chart. The 3 sigma control limits are CL equal to NP dash. UCL is equal to NP dash plus 3 times root NP dash Q dash and LCL is equal to NP dash minus 3 times root NP dash Q dash. Substituting, we get CL is equal to 40 into 0.12, UCL is equal to 40 into 0.12 plus 3 times root 40 into 0.12 into 0.88. Simplifying further, you will get UCL is equal to 4.8 plus 6.1656. Similarly, substituting in LCL, LCL is equal to 40 into 0.12 minus 3 times root of 40 into 0.12 into 0 0.88 on simplification it will reduce to 4.8 minus 6.1656 so finally the three sigma control limits are cl is equal to 4.8 ucl is equal to 10.9656 lcl is equal to minus 1.3656 now the lcl cannot be negative so it is approximated to zero this is a very important point which you should keep in mind. Problem 2. In a light bulb manufacturing plant, a production manager has inspected 30 bulbs at regular intervals and the average fraction defective is 0 0.057. Write down the control limits for the number of defectives. In this particular problem, a sample of 30 bulbs is chosen and the average fraction defective value is given to us. So this is a case of where the process standard is unknown that is capital P is unknown and we make use of P bar as an estimate for it. So solution first write given P bar is 0 0.057 Q bar is equal to 1 minus P bar which is 1 minus 0 0.057 which is 0 0.943 and N is equal to 30. So the 3 sigma control limits for the D chart are CL is equal to NP bar, UCL is equal to NP bar plus 3 times root NP bar Q bar where Q bar is 1 minus P bar. Similarly LCL is equal to NP bar minus 3 times root NP bar Q bar. Substituting, we get CL is equal to 30 into 0 0.057, UCL is equal to 30 into 0 0.057 plus 3 times root 30 into 0 0.057 into 0 0.943 which is equal to 1.71 plus 3.8094. In a similar way, substituting for LCL, we get 30 into 0 0.057 minus 3 times root 30 into 0 0.057 into 0 0.943 which simplifies to 1.71 minus 3.8094. Therefore, the final 3 sigma control limits for the D chart are CL is equal to 1.71, UCL is equal to 5.5194, LCL is equal to minus 2.0994 which is approximated to zero. Problem 3. 
10 samples each of size 5 were inspected for the number of defectives and the following data was obtained. Given P dash is equal to 0 0.32, draw a suitable control chart and comment. So the table has the sample numbers from 1 to 10 and the corresponding number of defectives are 0, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 1. So you can mark the number of defectives as D which I have highlighted in pink color. Now the case will be the process standard is known because the P value is given to us. So let's start with the solution. Given K is equal to 10, N equal to 5, P dash is 0 0.32, Q dash is 1 minus P dash which is 1 minus 0 0.32 which is 0 0.68. So the three sigma control limits for the D chart are CL is equal to NP dash, UCL is equal to NP dash plus three times root NP dash Q dash and LCL is equal to NP dash minus three times root NP dash Q dash. Substituting CL is equal to 5 into 0 0.32 UCL is 5 into 0 0.32 plus 3 times root 5 into 0 0.32 into 0 0.68 which simplifies to 1.6 plus 3.1293. In a similar way LCL is equal to 5 into 0 0.32 minus 3 times root of 5 into 0 0.32 into 0 0.68 which on simplification is 1.6 minus 3.1293. So the three sigma control limits are CL is equal to 1.6, UCL is 4.7293, LCL is equal to minus 1.5293 which is approximated to 0. Let us now draw the D chart on the X axis we should take the sample numbers from 1 to 10 and on the Y axis we have to take the number of defectives which is denoted by D. The scale for the X axis I have chosen as 1 cm is equal to 1 unit and similarly on the Y axis also 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. Now the CL is drawn as a dark line at 1.6 approximately and similarly the UCL is marked as a dotted line at 4.7293 for plotting purpose I would have taken it as 4.7 and the LCL is 0 so just above the x-axis you can draw a dotted line and write LCL is equal to 0. So remember that CL is always a dark line whereas the UCL and the LCL should be marked as dotted lines. And corresponding to each of the control limits, please write the value. Next, corresponding to every sample, you should mark the defective which is given in the table. So that means for sample number 1, the defective is 0. Similarly, for sample number 2, the defective is 2. For sample number 3, the number of defectives is 3. Continue in a similar manner. And for the sample number 10, the number of defectives is 1. Then all these points are joined by straight line. And then I get the graph as shown or highlighted in blue color. So let us now write the conclusion. We see that all the sample points lie within the three sigma control limits. So we conclude that the process is in statistical control. Problem 4. From a razor blade production process, the following data regarding the number of defective blades in a sample containing 100 razor blades each is obtained. Draw a NP chart. Is the process under control. So the table given to us has the sample numbers from 1 to 10 and the corresponding number of defectives are 17, 15, 14, 31, 9, 19, 12, 9, 14 and 10. So starting with the solution let us first mark the number of defectives as D which I have marked in pink color. Then write given n is equal to 100 and k is equal to 10. 
So the D chart is the case when the process standard is unknown, that is capital P is unknown. So the three sigma control limits are CL is equal to NP bar, UCL is equal to NP bar plus three times root NP bar Q bar and LCL is equal to NP bar minus three times root NP bar Q bar where Q bar is calculated as one minus P bar. So now an important calculation is to write the formula for P bar which is summation D divided by NK which is equal to 150 divided by 100 into 10 which gives us 0 0.15. So Q bar is equal to 1 minus P bar which is 0 0.85. Substituting in CL we get CL equal to 100 into 0 0.15. UCL is equal to 100 into 0 0.15 plus 3 times root of 100 into 0 0.15 into 0 0.85. Simplify further and it results in 15 plus 10.7121. Similarly, for LCL we get 100 into 0 0.15 minus 3 times root of 100 into 0 0.15 into 0 0.85 which gives 15 minus 10.7121. Therefore, the three sigma control limits are CL equal to 15, UCL is equal to 25.7121 and LCL is 4.2879. Let us now draw the D chart for this problem. So on the x axis take the sample numbers from 1 to 10. Here I have taken 1 cm is equal to 1 unit for the x axis. On the y axis I have taken the scale as 0, 5, 10 up to 35. So 1 cm is equal to 5 units. Now let us mark the CL as a dark thick line at CL equal to 15 and the UCL is a dotted line which is marked at 25.7121. For plotting purpose, I would have taken 25.7 and LCL is marked at 4.2879. You can mark it at 4.3. Next, corresponding to each sample, mark the number of defectives which is D. So for the first sample, the number of defectives is 17. Similarly, for the second sample, the number of defectives is 15. Plot in a similar way. So for the sample number 9, the number of defectives are 14 and for sample 10, the number of defectives is 10. Join all these points by straight lines as I have done in purple color and you will observe that one of the sample points that is corresponding to sample number 4, it is lying above the UCL or in other words, it is lying outside the 3 sigma control limits. So the conclusion will be since the sample point corresponding to sample number 4 lies above the UCL, the process is said to be out of statistical control. Thank you all for watching and do practice all these problems and look out for my next video where I'll explain another type of control chart for attributes which is the defects chart or the C chart.